I am Ayushi Gandhi and today we are going to learn about noise pollution. We have heard of several kind of pollution like air pollution, water pollution, land pollution. But today we are going to discuss about noise pollution which is also a very serious problem in the cities. Now, firstly let us learn about what is noise pollution. So noise is unpleasant sound or unwanted sound. Sound is what we hear. Whatever I am hearing that is known as sound. But the difference between sound and noise depends upon the listener and the circumstances. So suppose if I like if someone is playing guitar. For me it is a sound. But if for someone who does not like the sound of guitar for them it is noise. So what do you mean by noise pollution? An unwanted sound. Right. So now let us learn how sound is measured. So sound is measured into two categories, sound power and sound pressure. So let us learn what is sound power. So the amount of energy transferred per second from the source of sound to the air. So the amount of energy while I am speaking, I am transferring that energy in the atmosphere. So that is known as sound power with respect to time. So the amount of energy transferred from the source of sound in the air with respect to time that is known as sound power. If I convert sound power which is in form of watts in decibel it is known as sound power level. Now there are different kind of sounds as we see. So there is sound of industries, there is sound of car, there are sound of building, there is sound of urban cities and Everything creates sounds in the atmosphere or in the environment. What is sound pressure? So it is the amount of air pressure fluctuating created by source of sound. So while I am speaking, the energy is transferred from my mouth in form of sound. Even the molecules in the air are creating pressure and fluctuating. So the pressure is created by the energy. So that pressure is known as sound pressure. Sound pressure is expressed as Pascal. A healthy young person can hear a sound pressure as low as 0.00002 Pascal. So the pressure created by source of sound is known as sound pressure. What is sound pressure level? When you convert sound pressure into decibel from pascal to decibel that is known as sound pressure level. Decibel is used in environmental noise pollution as a measure of sound power level, sound intensity level and sound pressure level. So sound is always measured in decibels. Here you can see in the figure I have shown you few things that how listening to music for a longer period of time can affect your ears then how much decibel of noise is created by different kind of activities. So when the sound level increases more than 85 dB, the ears are affected or it starts damaging the ear. After this, every 3 dB increase in sound helps the length of time that your ears can handle the noise before damage starts. You can only listen to personal music players like PMPs for approximately 3.75 minutes on a high volume before it starts to damage your hearing. The lower the volume, the longer you can safely listen to it. So you cannot exceed the decibels. If the sound level exceeds certain decibels like more than 85 dB, it starts damaging your ears. So this is the figure showing different decibels, 130 decibels. Jet takeoff will affect your ear, 120 decibels, music concert, sports event, 115 decibels. So 109, less than 2 minutes, harm or damage your ear. 106 decibels, 3.75 minutes, personal music players which we put headphones in our ears, that is damaging our ears. Similarly, I have given you example of so many noise sources and for how many minutes you can hear to it safely and if you exceed that limit that may affect your ears or damage your ears. I will give you this PPT so that you can see it very clearly and understand the whole table. Noise rating system. 
a noise may consist of different types of sound continuous intermittent impulse with different pressure levels operating for different time intervals the frequency of this sound may vary and the combined result impact of different sound pressure lasting different periods is worked out by using some statistic measures like ln and l eq system so how noise rating system is done so there are two types of concept ln concept and l eq concept so what is ln concept ln concept is statistically you are measuring how frequently particular sound level is exceeded so if 60 db a particular sound level is 60 db and how frequently the sound is going more than 60 db is known as ln concept so the value of ln will represent the sound pressure level that will exceed for n percent of the gauging time so l equilibrium concept is a concept where constant noise level which over a given time expands the same amount of energy as it is expanded by fluctuating levels over the same time for example there is a room and from morning to evening different levels of sounds are produced of different db you have to find out that constantly what decibel of sound is produced from morning to evening for example in morning 10 db of sound is produced in afternoon 40 db sound is produced in evening 60 db sound is produced in l equilibrium concept you have to find out that constantly what amount of sound is produced from morning to evening now what are the sources of noise pollution so following are the main sources of noise pollution traffic noise industrial noise construction noise other miscellaneous noise will produce noise pollution so what is traffic noise traffic noise is created by honking someone blowing con horn continuously aeroplanes trains are creating noise pollution in the atmosphere even trucks and tractors vehicle with damaged silencer noise produced by a diesel car will be more than produced by a petrol car a jet aircraft will produce more noise now what are the industrial sources noise is the essential by product of industry it, its intensity and nature being dependent upon the type of industry so on different type of industry will produce different kind of noise so for example industrial noise are mostly produced by rotating machines cutting of materials blow hammers generators will produce maximum amount of noise in the atmosphere in the environment noise pollution by several constructional activities are rock crushing for production of aggregate pile driving equipment boring and drilling equipment road rollers material handling conveyors rock blasting these all produce noise pollution during constructional activities you can see when a building is constructed in a surrounding lot of amount of noise is generated and that creates noise pollution what are the other miscellaneous noises in residential area loud voice of tv music system radio etc public addressing system public functions navratri festival causes noise pollution military source noise of bomb grenade explosion tanks other vehicles missiles etc causes military noise how noise pollution is affecting us so the first effect of noise pollution is loss of hearing second effect is annoyance third is health effect fourth is interference within communication and fifth is working efficiency so if the decibels exceeds more than our hearing capacity then there will be loss of hearing but loss of hearing can be divided into two categories the first category is noise induced temporary threshold shift and the second category is noise induced permanent threshold shift so what do you mean by noise induced temporary threshold shift if high decibel of noise is generated near our ear then what happens we temporarily stop hearing so that is known as noise induced temporary threshold shift for example if a firecracker is burst around our ear and the decibels are high for temporarily will stop hearing similarly during the take off of flight the amount of noise generated by plane will be very high and due to that 
there will be stoppage of hearing for a very few seconds so that is known as noise induced temporary threshold shift so what is noise induced permanent threshold shift these occur because of the exposure to loud noise for a longer period of time so when any loud noise is produced near our ear for a longer period of time it will damage our ear permanently and will stop hearing permanently so that is known as noise induced permanent threshold shift now the other effect of noise pollution is annoyance so this is a subjective matter it depends on person to person for someone they might like classical music for some who does not like classical music for them it is noise pollution so it is a very subjective matter but whenever we find noise irritating what happens in our body our blood pressure increases our heart start beating fast and creates annoyance and irritation in our body breathing rate is also affected due to that now health effects now effect on physical health they are grouped into short time and long time effects acoustic trauma is caused by very high intensity impulsive noise of about 150 db or more from explosion non auditory effects exposure to loud noise may increase the pulse rate and blood pressure changes body experiences fear reactions disturb brain wave leads to the interference in vision so sometimes it affects physical health of ours in terms of auditory and non auditory effects auditory effect means that for a longer period of time if you hear the noise of more than 150 db you will stop hearing that is auditory effect and what is non auditory effect when our human body is affected so for example our blood pressure will change and our body will experience fear reaction disturb brain waves lead to in the interference in the vision so these are non auditory effects effects on mental health effect on mental health is less lack of concentration at high noise level is the effect of mental health now interference within communication so a person may face problem of trying to understand the other person talking to him or her in an environment with high background noise so when I, so if i want to communicate with you people and if there is a high background noise there will be problem in communication the person will not be able to listen to me what i am saying so that is interference in communication working efficiency so it is found to be decreased drastically whenever a person is working in the noising environment so if there is too much noise in the environment and if the person is trying to work his concentration decreases and its work efficiency decreases what are the other effects the other effects are sleep interference increase industrial accidents personal comfort interference property value degradation effect on wildlife these are all effects of noise pollution you cannot sleep properly if there is continuous noise in your surrounding industrial accidents are increased due to that personal comfort is decreased property value degrades so if there is continuous noise in my surrounding then the property will have lower value than the other properties then effects on wildlife so it has many effect thank you for watching this video and i hope you learned how noise pollution is affecting the environment and how we should control noise pollution thank you for watching this video thank you